Are you taking pictures or recording? Video. Uh. <laughs> So, what do you two think about this weekend? What's gonna come of it? No, Well, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> Good answer. You, Dakota? <laughs> um, wrong answer. And then these people doing nothing. Stem fun, watch them. Everything's oh wow. How are we gonna oh, get it? My. I said I think it's really cool and I hope it rains a little bit so we get a little bit of feel. Keep it on keep the gray side up. Notice, I said we had one dress but <laughs> Wow, yours is doing great compared to this. Right no, Cody, what are you doing? Is it just you guys? It's 1.45 right now, and everyone is finally in their tents. Oh, good gosh. <laughs> Kobe! I hate you. <laughs> oh my gosh. favorite part would be playing the games because they were all really fun and then uh, building the house in the rain because
because you got to experience the way they live. My favorite part was probably trying to rebuild our houses in the rain because they were completely destroyed. But like seeing where how your judgment can be taken wrong. Like you can look at a house and say, oh, they're probably not going to give very much because they don't have a very nice looking house. But then they give you so much. And then coming to a really big house that was really fancy and then going and they give you like two cans. And so it's, it's really, it's really interesting. It changes, it changes your perspective. It kind of impacted me to feel more for them. And uh, I think about them more. And it makes me want to do something for them. It was weird going up to people and asking them for food. Like, I've never had to do that before, so... <laughs> that was a really good time for that home. <laughs> <laughs> my least favorite part. The part when Desiree... Oh my god. <laughs> so Night for Haiti is uh, officially over and the main... The, it was a great weekend. I'm so proud of the team this year, the kids that came out and just sacrificed their time, their um, effort, their energy, and uh, to just remember somebody that doesn't have a house, to remember those that are hungry. So this year was our second night for Haiti, and um, how it compares to last year was, I think there was more of a challenge this year. Um, last year was freezing cold, and this year our challenge was the rain, the weather, and looking at it from uh, from a perspective of um, success. <laughs> at first, I'll be honest, I was I was a little bit scared because I'm I'm thinking, great, we've got rain, and uh, the the possibility of their their tents because they they sleep in boxes and tarps that they that they construct to pretty much represent uh, the people that don't have anything. For the students to actually get to experience this and the devastation of loss um, was actually one of the greatest things that could happen for us. And so to, to go out there and to pick up what was left over, um, actually a funny thing was the girls had the houses that actually stayed up, but I'm excited for next year and I cannot wait to see the faces of that family that is impacted by what these guys did. I think I think we don't even fully understand the amount that 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 we're going to to do on this side of eternity. I really don't I really don't think we will um, till we get to heaven. Really understand how much of an impact that this made. And so um, I just want to thank all those students that were here that came that sacrificed the weekend um, because it it's it's gonna reach so many more people than just ourselves. And that's pretty awesome. You should come. Do it.